What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Loverfella, and welcome back to Conan. Conan Exiles is a brand new game that was just released on Steam a couple days ago, and I've been really struggling to find time to play it, but I've been hyped for this game for months. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to play it, and so today, here we are playing on my very own sponsored server from Mitrado. They have been kind enough to- what the crap is that thing? What? What? What is this? What the heck? What? Is that gonna attack us? Is he friendly? Nope, he's not a friendly guy. Nitrato has hooked us up, guys. Nitrato, sorry, I always, I always kind of say it a little bit wrong. But if you're interested in getting yourself a server for this game or you find that you like it, you think it could be fun to play with friends, definitely check them out because they can hook you guys up with some amazing quality servers. Now, keep in mind this game is early access, just came out. I think the first few weeks there's going to be a lot of glitches and a lot of bugs like that stuttering you could just see there for a minute. Um, I would not really let that indicate how well the game is. Um, I think I think the game has a lot of potential. I did mess around on it earlier a little bit and played for about an hour. Just got it. I didn't want to be totally. I don't know. What, oh, okay. There's another weird guy. Oh, he's glowing blue. Interesting. <clears throat> I didn't want to be totally clueless when I came here, but as you can see, I sucked just as much as I did about an hour ago. But this game's really fun, guys. This game's really fun. I'm having a blast with it, and I would describe it as a mixture of Rust and Ark. Uh, I don't know, actually, maybe it's just a mixture of Rust and weird monsters. Rust and H1Z, no, I don't know. It's a cool survival game, there's no dinosaurs, but there are cannibals that chase you. And so, there's actually a storyline in this game, I'm just trying to get away from those guys. They're kind of like marathon runners, and they chase me everywhere I go, and I don't know that they'll ever stop, which is unfortunate. They just chase for such a long time. But anyway, um... This game's really cool because there's a whole lot of things I want to show you. It has your basic survival. Oh, okay. There it is. They just don't stop chasing you. The AI has some issues. I'll say that right now. But in the top, you can see we have health, we have stamina, water, food, experience, and the last one is weight. So it shows you how much you can carry. So when I pick up some rocks, you see it jumped a little bit. Maybe you can't see if you're on a phone with a super tiny screen, but that little green bar goes up a smidgen. And uh, <clears throat> there's a crocodile. Let's go. I mean, I think we're just going to have to die here. Because, for some reason, the AI will just chase you indefinitely. And, uh, right now my stamina, I don't think it's good enough to get far enough away. But, this is my server, you guys can join it. Password is the same on my ARC server. Um, crocodile's brutal. I don't think you can tame it. And I think that's actually a crocodile, not a Sarko. Um, but what's cool is, there's a story in this game. There's an actual story. And I'm probably not going to show a lot of it, just because I don't want to show spoilers. Um, for me, I like to experience things firsthand. Um, just kind of by myself. I don't like to. I don't like to read guides and stuff. I think that takes away from the whole gaming experience. And so you're gonna see me struggle, and you're gonna see me try to figure things out. And if you're a pro at this game, you're just gonna have to deal with my crappy gameplay here and there. But what I do know is that you pick classes. So when you start out, you pick a character. You can design it. So I made my guy. Uh, it's like, is there a way I can see my face? Maybe if I press I, you can see it. Maybe. There he is. I made my guy like a really attractive looking uh, guy with white hair, and giant pecs so he's pretty cool i like it um this guy is like a wizard or something so i'm guessing i'll have magic powers later but i don't really know how it's gonna factor in here um that guy seems aggressive seems like a giant monkey man we're gonna not go near him seems like a good idea and uh <clears throat> what i've learned is uh, i've learned how to make a bed learned how to make a few tools and right now i'm just kind of walking around looking for some sticks because uh as unintuitive as it would seem there are random sticks lying around pretty much everywhere on this map. Even if there aren't trees, there tend to be... Oh, man. I don't like those guys. They look like little hobgoblin things. But look at that. He'll just he'll just chase me forever. It... Oh, there's some sticks. There's some sticks. Oh, where is he? Am I, am I crazy? Oh, there he is. Uh, see, the thing is with these guys is that they will chase you forever, I think. And it just... It really adds a layer of difficulty to starting up your first base because you're like, you know what, I'll run away. It's going to be fine. They're not going to kill me. And then next thing you know, you've run 26.2 miles and the guy's still behind you without even without even sweating. And uh, so that's the issue. Is there like a, a gamma 5 function here? Am I going to have to go the old-fashioned way, craft up the old Torch Rooney here? Now, I don't know that Torch Rooney is actually what it's called, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes we make up words here, sometimes... Sometimes we don't know what we're doing. Um, let's take this guy out and take a little... Okay. Can I beat him with a torch? Is that gonna... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got this. We got him. He's actually... He is bleeding. My health's about halfway down. I think if I punch him enough in the head... Look at that. He's not even that hard, actually. I mean, he did almost kill me, granted, but... Uh... Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. There's another one. Okay, this one's probably gonna take us down. Now, if I hold shift... I can do this kind of roll thing. I don't. I don't know. Oh, there's a little. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. 
all right this is this is a terrible gameplay guys but you know once they get the ai fixed to the point where it doesn't murder you maybe it's my fault maybe i just suck at the game and maybe the ai isn't actually that bad maybe i'm just blaming the conan exile devs for this the devs because maybe i just suck at it you know that's very possible what the heck was that that was a <clears throat> that was a loud noise so right now i'm the only one on my server I don't think anyone else has joined since it's such a new game. I have a feeling a lot of people are waiting to see uh, myself or other YouTubers play it just to decide if it's worth it. And uh, this is a... I, s <clears throat> I swear I heard something. This is a nice little area. I'm going to make a torch. And I would like to make maybe a tool. I need some more branches, I think. So yeah, here's the question. We're out in the middle of the desert. We're standing in the sand and we see a whole bunch of branches. And you're like, why are there branches out here? Well, that's a good question, guys. I've been trying to figure it out since I started. How do branches get out here? Maybe they blow off the tree and they come over here? Maybe? But I really don't know. I really just can't figure out one reason why a branch should be out here. Because I, I, I just like think about it. Think about this. The sand is going to blow. And if it's blowing enough to move a stick, it's going to blow enough to cover that stick up too, guys. Huge, huge flaw right there. Huge flaw. Don't even know how to deal with this. Alright. <clears throat> I need some fiber. No. What do I need to make? I need to make twine. So we're going to make 10 twine. And then what I can do is I can use the twine to make other stuff, but I'll show you guys something else. Cool. There's the tributes. This is how you level up. So once I level up, I can give myself strength, how much damage I do, um, my stamina, I think, uh, how quick I move, all kinds of cool stuff here. And then recipes. This is like the engrams and arc or your just crafting menu. But what's cool about this, from my understanding, sorry, I just bumped the mic. It looks like you can like specialize in things like you can. So, okay, let me explain. See this bow right here? If I click on the bow, it shows a hunting bow and flint head arrows underneath that bow. So that means once I learn this bow, I learn both of these recipes. So this is the archer kit. But say instead of that, I want an armor kit. So then I learn these two with the armor kit. And so the armor kit's going to unlock some other things like the chest pieces, all these things that you see in green. And if you click the bow, it'll unlock a couple things like a better bow. And so I think what would happen is you get you get like a tribe and you say, all right, dude, why don't you go ahead and be the journey craftsman or whatever, or like some kind of specialty. And then you could then be like the warrior, the hunter, the gatherer. Like here's the hunter. You get some trophies, like all kinds of cool stuff like that. And so the crafting menu is really quite flushed out, in my opinion. I mean, it's it's a lot of stuff for a like week one game. I'm really really happy with how it looks. And so these are the recipes I've learned. You can click what is available. I believe is that what's what you can craft or what you have. I'm not 100% sure on that one. So this guy will take a bunch of plant fiber, and now it's turning into daytime, so we don't have to worry about the darkness anymore. But guys, this is going to be a big series, so I hope you like this game. I really do, because I'm enjoying it. But the truth is, I've played Ark for 580 hours, and I'm not quitting Ark. I'm going to keep my Ark series up. We did just freshly wipe it. But I have a lot of hours, and the, the cold hard truth is, to, to be the best YouTuber I can and make the best videos I can, um... I'm running out of ideas on ARC. I'm just going to be honest. Um, I need ideas for ARC. I need things that you want to see. But on top of that, I've got to start expanding out into other games. So I hope you guys are ready to take some journeys with me here. We're going to keep playing it. I'm not quitting. I want to make that very clear. But I also want to say we will be branching out to try a lot of new games. Because I want this to grow into something big. You guys know that I talk about it all the time. I think about YouTube. I breathe it. I sleep it. My girlfriend hates me talking about it. Because I talk about it almost 24-7. Like, I'm addicted and obsessed with making a good YouTube channel. It's just my biggest passion ever. And um, in order to get where I need to go, I know exactly what I need to do to get there. And so I have some goals in mind, and I hope a lot of you can understand and see those goals. And, and it just means there'll be a couple of changes, a couple of new games, all that stuff. There's going to be a lot of mistakes in the way. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, in fact, today, when you watch this video, will be my one-year anniversary of YouTube. This is my one year anniversary and so I'll be making a really special video for that coming up in the future um, I've been going back through and watching some of my older videos. Let's see. I guess I can Wait till my stamina comes back. I need to get some more fiber here But I've been watching some of my older videos because when I make videos one thing that really Lets me down and I think this happens to a lot of people is that once you see success It's really hard to go back on that success. So for example two weeks ago I was getting 800 to a thousand subs per day and now this video that was recommending my channel is no longer getting as many views. And so I'm getting about 100 subs a day. 100 subs a day is great. And there was a time where I thought that would be impossible. And I dreamed of getting to a point where I could do that. But now that I've, now that I've tasted just a little bit of that dream that I wanted, now that I've tasted it, it's so difficult to sometimes find motivation. Because you, you're like, man, I worked so hard to get that 800 and now I'm getting 100. 
And then I went back and I started looking at my old videos and I was like, holy crap, I've come so far. Even from like two months ago, videos that I thought were incredible, I'm looking at now and I'm like, these are the worst videos I've ever seen in my entire life. Like you just look back at it and you can't believe it. And uh, it's inspiring to me. I look at that stuff and I am blown away at how much I've changed, how much I've learned from programs, different programs, different equipment, different techniques. Like when I first started, like I encourage you guys very much if you're an aspiring YouTuber, aspiring to make videos, go watch like one of my very first videos, maybe one where I talk in absolutely terrible like i look at that thing and i truly can't believe that i'm at this point right now with 25,000 subs it's unbelievable it's crazy and you guys know that you mean the world to me i can't move so this is kind of awkward because i just way too much right now but we gotta <clears throat> we gotta craft some stuff so i want to try to get like a little makeshift base going on down here and our weight is one percent too much which is you know just a smidge too high maybe i'll just drop some rocks right here i don't need that many rocks okay get some more fiber while we're going out but guys, it's absolutely incredible how much support 25,000 people like that's absolutely insane like that. It just blows my mind. And it's even weirder because when I first started, I remember kind of thinking 20,000, man, 20,000. If I ever get to 20,000, I'll know that I can get to whatever number I want. I was like 20,000 like that. That means you're doing something right. That's just a crazy number. And like I had this my mind set on it and I thought 20 would be great. And I was like, 100 seems awesome, but like, am I ever really going to get to 100? I don't know. That seems impossible. And now I'm at 20,000, and it's like my whole perceptive or perception of it has changed. I love this building system, by the way. That looks classy. Now that I'm at 20,000, I'm thinking like, 20,000 is big, but like, what about 30 or 40,000? Like, it's almost like the number like doesn't seem as big. Like, 20,000 feels to me as big as 100 felt to me when I first hit it. It's like each new goal you get, it's almost like you grow with your channel. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's just once you hit that milestone, it like doesn't feel overwhelming. I don't know. It's I mean, it feels amazing is what I mean. But like I used to be afraid, like, what if I get to this size and then I'm getting 10,000 views a day? That's a lot of people. I used to get like 30 views and I was like, man, 30 views a day. That's that's a lot of people watching me. And now I don't know. It's just crazy. And I thought it would be appropriate to talk about some of that stuff since today is my one year anniversary. Look at that. My sandstone willow. So I can interact with this window to open it. Oh, that's a smooth open animation. Look at the shadows on that. Oh, yeah, that looks good. That looks very good. Very, very, very happy with how that looks. All right. So, I mean, that's not that's not too bad, is it? That's not too shabby. Like, I just want to say the graphics on this door, that's a really, really good shadow, man. And it's running pretty smoothly, too. I'm running at 1440p. I think settings are pretty high. I don't feel any stuttering or any lag. This feels a lot more optimized than Arc does, which is fantastic. I know the game probably has some bad reviews right now. Don't let it scare you off of getting this game because uh, there's some server issues. It took me about three hours to get into the server, just not because of uh, anything on our end or Nitrato's end. It was more just related to the game being brand new. When your, your game's that new, just kind of hard to get it running perfectly when you first started out. But I, hi I mean, I haven't played that much. I, you guys can tell I don't know everything yet, and I think a lot of you know more than me. But I will say that it's very fun and it looks beautiful and it runs great and I really do recommend it. I really do. So let's see. I'm, I'm just about to grow a level. Maybe if I craft a couple, I don't know, foundations here. If I craft two more of these, is that going to give me the experience to level up? Because I think once I hit five, I can learn a bow. And I haven't shown you guys this yet. But over here across the edge down, uh, down in yonder where you get to danger land where the biome really picks up. There are actually tribes of people, like tribes of humans down there among the creepy monsters. And uh, sometimes these humans have tents. I'm assuming they'll have items, but like they, they're like in groups together and they'll attack you. And so I kind of wonder if we find a tribe of humans out there that is in my um, my race. I wonder if they'll attack us or if they'll help us or like what they'll do. I don't know. But um, to me, it seems like the best way to start this game. And I don't know. So don't take this for uh, don't take this for. 100% truth, but it seems like the best way is going to be to build yourself a nice little base way up yonder uh, away from all the monsters. And I guess we'll just kind of keep it nice and simple. If I could just get it to clip to the front or something, that, that's good enough for me. So um, we'll expand this out and get it a little bit bigger, but it looks really, really, really solid. Like the, the colors, the models, the animations. This is a this is a game worthy of the year 2017. Like I will say that it looks great. It looks great. I think I've been saying that too much, but um. <clears throat> looks like I did just grow a level 
I don't see any, sorry, <clears throat> I think I might be getting a little bit sick here or something. I've been getting a sore throat and it's getting cold, but hopefully we get it taken care of soon. I think I want a little bit more stamina, which is, what is stamina? Grit. I want more stamina because I'm always running from things. Now, now that things have turned yellow, you can see I have green colors, things that I've learned, yellow, things that I've unlocked, and red, things that I can't yet get to. So I could learn brute if I want to be like a hand guy, mash him up in the face, a wooden box to store stuff in. So I have two points. This is going to cost two. I have two. Or I could learn the bow and flint head arrows. Frankly, I want the bow, but I think the more useful thing, unfortunately for everyone, it's going to be the box. 100 wood, 14 twine. All right, let's get this box taken care of. And then when the server comes out, it's going to be kind of weird to join just by the way the game is. I'm going to give you guys the IP. We'll have a video up soon that'll show you exactly how to get in here. But um, it's going to be, I think it's going to be really, really fun. I personally believe from my however long I played this, like two hours now, um, what I've seen, I think this game has the potential to one day at least one two three four five six seven eight nine i think it has potential to one day compete with if not beat games like arc and rust and other survival games like i think this is going to be a big contender for a survival game of the year just because the fact that there is a story and they're driving this with a story there's like notes there's people you find there's an exploration factor there's a lot of depth to it i feel like once it gets a few more updates not that it's bad at all now but once it gets a few more updates I think I think it's gonna be a really solid game. So I'm gonna need to make a couple more of these guys. Good thing they're quick crafts. And then how, many, how much twine? Twine. Blah, blah, blah. Where's my twine at? I don't actually see it anywhere. Is it? Oh, I have 15, 16. So now I can craft this chest. That should get rid of my hundred wood. And then I wonder up here in the top corner, or it's probably up there for you. That did drop. So it dropped to a hundred, but the weight's still too much. So I'll have to get rid of some of this wood here. So then. Maybe when I place this guy inside, it'll let me build some stuff up. And I know if you guys have watched other tubers, you probably have seen a lot of this stuff by now. But, um, oh yeah, look at that box. Look at that. Look at that box. It, is it just me or does it just look incredible? I don't know. I don't know. I really like the menu. Like, look at that. It's like nice and rustic. I'm just, I'm just nerding out over nothing, guys. Let's put our wood in here. A little bit of bark plant fiber a couple seeds i wonder if i can grow some crops with that some branches some more plant fiber and some more seeds so um what i think i'm going to do with the plant fiber here while we're running around everywhere let me grab the sticks and the rope and i'd like to make a bed sticks or the branches also you might notice my screen looks slightly different now like really weirdly zoomed out because i just increased my field of view like crazy and if you don't know what that does i'll show you real quick you can see my screen here, and then I do field of view, and it really zooms in on you. So this is what it was, but if I zoom out, you get a much, much bigger visibility. So I'm going to go ahead and put it maybe something like this. I might go more in the future. Let me know if it annoys you, but for me, on this 1440p resolution monitor, as long as you can get used to like the weird-looking, super dinky, skinny axe. Wait, what's going on? Oh, man, I need water. Oh, no, I need water really bad. I need to make a bed right now. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to die because I have a really nice base. Craft. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where's my health at? Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna get to... Oh, I didn't get to place it. Dang it. That kills you really, really fast. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, that's fine though. Not a problem at all. We have a base built. Kind of know where it is, roughly, maybe. Nah, no, I have no idea where that is. Um, Killed by Durst. So Durst means thirst. I learned that this has its own language in here. Oh man, look at those weird looking hands. That's kind of kind of weird, kind of strange. Um. Not 100% sure where that was, honestly, but uh, water's important, and I probably died more deaths to no water than anything else in this game. I feel like I'm constantly out of water. Is that a tree or a dragon? I'm not really sure. If I'm about, you know, I'm about 20% sure it was up on this hill over here to the left. This seems familiar, like a deserty, rocky. <gasps> there it is. There it is, man. What a good way. I can't believe that just happened. Sorry, I'm, I'm way too happy about that, guys. Speaking of happiness, I hope you guys are all feeling good and being happy right now in your own lives. I know I talk about this all the time. I know I talk about weird, inspiring things a lot. I try to help you guys out. I hope that you guys really are making differences in your life this new year. I hope you guys really are reaching those goals that you have set for yourself. Because, did I make that bed? No, I didn't. I need the rope. I don't have the rope. All right, let's just make it all. Let's just make all the rope. Whoa, what the... All right, that was weird. <clears throat> oh, I can't zoom in. I must have pressed the like weird third-person button. What is it? 
Okay, so V is called vanity camera, and it lets you zoom out like this. And on top of that, some other cool features while I was checking out key bindings, if you guys were curious, there is a suicide button. How cool is that? Or why doesn't Arc have that? There's a suicide button, player stats, all kinds of crazy things. Jump to your camp, hit impulse, and then I guess if you press C, it puts you in combat mode. So I'm guessing combat mode makes you a little bit better fighter. So, I mean, that's probably why we sucked at killing things every single time I played this game. Look at that. Yeah, we're a fighter now. We're feeling it. All right. Let's make some beds here. What I need, I need plant fiber. Oh yeah, I just used all the plant fiber to make that. Anyway, going back to what I was talking about in a minute ago. Um, hope you guys are reaching your goals. We are about a month into the new year, so think about where you're at right now in terms of. The, I don't probably need twelve of those. Maybe just one, one or two. Think about. I just made five. Where you are, you've been one the month in. If you haven't hit your goals yet, or you're not trying to reach your goals, the only thing stopping you is yourself. And this is extremely important what I'm about to say. My girlfriend, Lauren, um, you guys know I love her a lot. She is currently trying to apply to Riot Games to work on League of Legends for a 3D modeler. That's what she wants to do really bad. And she didn't do it because she was afraid of being rejected. And uh, I talked to her last night and kind of talked her through it. And I was like, you're going to be okay. It's going to be all right. And now she's, she's back on track. But here's the thing. You can't let fear control you. Because what are you afraid of? You're afraid that you won't get the job. Worst thing that happens is you don't get the job or the promotion or whatever it is you're trying to get, right? That's literally the worst thing that happens. So in other words, the worst thing that happens is that your life stays exactly as it is. While the best thing that happens is that you have your dream job or your dream, whatever it is. A lot of people say they are afraid to make YouTube videos. People message me just like I was when I first started, but why be afraid? I sucked when I first started. Most people do suck when they first start. You just got to do it and you can't be afraid. You cannot be afraid. So if I click interact, I believe that's what makes it the st spawn point. And it's like says spawn punk to arc scroll. And I think that's what you have to do to make them spawn points. So I'm going to make quite a few of them. I probably should put one inside just to be a little bit more safe. Oh, there it is. So, oh, no, I picked it up. Oh, no, I broke it. Okay, so if you break it, you get back plant fiber. Good to know. So I'm going to make a whole bunch of these because I die like crazy and I'm sick of dying. And so I like the opportunity to be able to actually go out and explore a little bit in later episodes. But this is looking cool. Um, looks like I leveled up again on the server. So did I not cost one? Learn recipes. Oh, maybe I was just gaining experience passively or something like that. I think those slow level up systems kind of nice, but I would like to get some people in the tribe to help me grind while I'm at work. Because I, as much as I wish I could play this game 24-7 or all games, I just can't because I have to work and type numbers into Excel and uh, manage projects and all that fun stuff you got to do. And so um, if you guys are interested in joining, go ahead and let me know. Um, as always, I like to thank my patrons for supporting me. I like to thank my patrons by giving them first access to my tribe, to my server, all that stuff. Because... I mean, they really are literally supporting me. Like, they're paying me monthly, guys. So, patrons, patrons, I always say it wrong. You guys are making a huge difference. So, I want to thank each and every one of you for that. The donations are amazing. It's it's incredible. And thanks to you guys, I might be able to buy a brand new webcam in the next few days. Um, I'm debating between using a webcam or using my, wherever it is, my really nice camera. I'm going to see if I can hook that one up. And it's going to be super, super HD. But if I can't, then the patrons will have sponsored and bought the new webcam for the entire server to use or the entire uh, community to view. So I just want to say thank you to them for uh, making that possible and for supporting me. You guys are incredible. And is one final message, the most important thing of the day. Um, it's been a really long time since I've said this, guys. It's been a very long time. And if you're watching right now, I 100% expect you to do this. Go follow me on Twitter. Just go do it right now. Just take your phone. You're probably on your phone. You might you might not be, but you probably are. And when this video is done, wait till the very end. Go to Twitter. Type in Loverfella TV. Click that follow button, and then tweet to me and say, "Hey, what's up, boy?" Spell it just like that, and I'll rep I'll reply and I'll say, uh, "Chameleon." And I'll type the word "chameleon" to you, and you'll be like, "That's cool, right?" So hopefully that encourages you to follow me on Twitter. Um, that was kind of weird. All right, that was a weird ending. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Please come check out the server, and don't forget to check out the links below. Click on the links to check out how you can get your own Nitrato server. Love you guys.